Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to another video. I uh, just wanted to address some rumours uh, before I would go and watch Smackdown, uh, which I'm hoping to be a great show. Um, so, the rumours and the speculation going around that have been instigated by the Raw GM, Austin, have been that Montez Ford is a registered psychopath and Smackdown can't compete against Monday Night Raw, and I'm here to address those rumours to you all today. Now, first, I do want to address the Montez Ford stuff. Uh, first up, he's not a racist psychopath. And just for the proof of the Raw GM, we did have Montez tested earlier this week. And he's not a psychopath. He's nowhere near it, unlike your superstars, who are so flipping mental in the head that they're willing to accuse some of my men of going over the limit for their brand. Now here's the thing Austin, my guys aren't psychopaths, they just love the brand they work for, unlike your guys, especially Roman. I've been talking with Roman the last couple of weeks and he is not enjoying you. He thinks you're a waste of space Austin and that's your top champion saying that. Now I'll get to the specifics. Seth and Montez knew what they were going into, heading to WrestleMania Backlash. They knew the repercussions of it. They knew that this could end their title chances very quickly. Seth could be injured for a couple of months. He isn't, but you know, it is what it is. Montez could be injured for a couple of months. Maybe be out until SummerSlam. Maybe not be able to go up against the best anymore. But he isn't. Both are well and fit. One of them is a new champion. The other one is still one of the top men in the company. Now let me tell you something, Austin. The reason my men go as far as Montez Ford did, who hit Seth over ten times with a sledgehammer, is because they actually want to win, unlike your men. Your men and women don't have the set of balls mine do which is why I'm going to put out a challenge for you Austin Survivor Series is not that far away obviously we've got SummerSlam in the way of that and Hell in a Cell and stuff like that but when we get to that they may not do it in 2K22 but why don't we have ourselves a 4 on 4 traditional Survivor Series match and the loser has to get rid of their main champion so either Roman or Montez will be leaving their brand at the end of Survivor Series and will be up for grabs for the other GM. Now, I'm going to give you until July 2nd, which is Money in the Bank, to respond to this. Now, let me say, I'm not expecting you to respond to this because you don't have the set of balls to put up those stakes. And like I said, my men and women on SmackDown are willing to put everything on the line just to win. So figure out, figure out how much they're willing to put on the line to beat you. Now finally, I do want to address one more thing. That SmackDown will lose. And that SmackDown are inferior in every single way. Austin, I've just been giving you a head start, buddy. Your next episode, episode 7... We'll see who's really going to be ahead. Because I've got two new signings that will kick your ass. And they used to be a part of a very iconic faction. Hmm. I wonder who they are. I don't know. Maybe one of the most dominant groups in WCW history. Came over to WWE. Include the likes of Shawn Michaels, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash... Hulk Hogan, X-Pac, Booker T. These two men were a part of the NWO, and I have just listed those names. So how about we find out next episode who's really going to be ahead. So I will say these last couple of things, ladies and gentlemen. Tune into Austin's channel for the GM mode, where you'll be seeing a main event which you'll never see again. Until... You'll find out. But my tag division is up on the rise now. You're probably figuring out 
that Austin's got tag champions who are as about as disconnected as two long lost twins. Whilst my tag division is going to be built on traditional tag team wrestling, the OGs of the tag team division. And next episode you will find out who they are. But I will say one of the teams that are going to be involved in this tag title match, yes, I'm having a tag title match next episode, one of the teams involved is Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong of the Undisputed Era. Now if you think you can beat that Austin next week, <laughs> you're about as delusional as Roman Reigns thinking he could beat Montez Ford any time, any place. But ladies and gentlemen, I do want to thank you for coming along to this TED Talk, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But I'm just addressing some rumours, and I'm putting out the biggest match that we could possibly have. Four of Raw's men, four of SmackDown's men. The loser releases their WWE or Universal Champion. Austin, the ball's in your court. Let's see if we've got the balls to accept that.